Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is about that time of year where we see the market crashing, a lot of panic, and a lot of anticipation for one of the biggest promos in the FIFA cycle, Black Friday. And though that is only nine days away from now, I feel like it's been put on the back burner a little bit because of all of the FIFA World Cup content with Path to Glory, World Cup heroes, and swaps that are in this game right now. But what I want to do today is look forward a little bit and talk preparation because Black Friday is seriously still one of the biggest promos that we have every year. And even though we have the World Cup going on during this time period this year, I still think even EA is going to run some sort of Black Friday promo or some sort of content around Black Friday in the next week and a half. So what I want to do in this video is start to talk about how could that impact the market. Things like best of team of the year, things like flash SBCs and the first lightning rounds of the year. And of course, talking about the market because how low can this market go when we already have cards that have dropped off over 50% in the past two or three weeks with the World Cup content. We're gonna try to tackle all of that today before we get too much information about Black Friday from EA, just to prepare a little bit. I don't think there's gonna be a massive market crash, but some cards I think can go lower. So we're gonna talk about all of that, and of course the Ribery SBC and the up-to-date content and what you can expect today in FIFA 23. So if you're excited for the video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk Black Friday. And first, let's remind ourselves about what Black Friday is in general. It's one of the biggest promo Fridays of the year, right? The period leading up to it every single year. Right now, it's what? November 16th? This is one of the prime periods of FIFA every year where we see massive market drop-offs and massive price drops because people are scared and fearful about all the supply that comes with the Black Friday promo. Now, last year, of course, Black Friday, it seemed just like another promo Friday, but they still did the best of team of the week. They still did a team in packs and the flash SPCs and the engagement streak rewards were a part of it, right? So it was just like a normal Black Friday and we had some really good content, but this year with the World Cup, everything is kind of going to change, right? We're still inside of this Path to Glory promo. We're going to have these uh, World Cup heroes that are coming into packs this Friday. But on the 25th, which is Black Friday, we are going to have the World Cup icons. And EA has confirmed that on their website, right? That's one thing that we're going to see for sure on Black Friday is Friday, November 25th is going to be when we see these World Cup icons. So, knowing that that's already a piece of Black Friday, do I think EA is still going to do something related to Black Friday? Absolutely. Could it contain Best of Team of the Week and Flash SBCs? Absolutely. But could it maybe contain a World Cup-based promo? I mean, we have so many of those World Cup cards that have yet to be seen, like World Cup Team of the Tournament cards. We have a Road to the World Cup. We've got so many different types of promo cards that are supposed to be dropped during this World Cup period, uh, not all their card designs are in here, but we'd expect to see them in the game soon since we've seen the card designs added to the code. I do think there will be a Black Friday on FIFA. Now, let's talk market. Again, what we usually see around this time of the year is prices dropping off like crazy, right? This is Neymar. Last year, from the end of October, about a month before Black Friday started last year, Neymar was around 900,000 coins, dropped all the way down to 587 before bouncing back up after Black Friday, right? There's always a huge market crash. Everybody every year is looking for the Black Friday market crash and last year it was crazy this year We've already had a huge market crash that some cards have dropped even further in terms of percentage uh, amount than last year this name are from 880 down to 580 That's like what a 30 35 percent drop He rebounded back up around you know 70 80 thousand coins from where his low point was you take a look at like Cristiano Ronaldo this year He's gone from 500,000 coins in the past three weeks all the way down to 200k that's a more than a 50 percent drop off on this card alone now not all cards are down that much neymar is down a ton but guys like mbappe i think mbappe maybe is only down like 35 to 40 percent from 1.4 down to about 1.05 he was up a little bit of course right now in the market because content yesterday was a little bit slower but i still think there is some room for this market to drop even though it's dropped so much just with the hype of Black Friday and what usually comes, again, it's all about the packs. Usually on Black Friday, we have the first lightning rounds of the year. We have yet to see 
lightning rounds dropped on this game yet. We've seen all of the different uh, pack types with the 100k packs, the 125k packs. I'm pretty sure they dropped ultimate packs into the code. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they've actually dropped them into the store yet. Now that I think about it, but we're getting a hundred thousand coin packs. We've had these other essentials packs and stuff in here, um, but we're getting really close to that time period where lightning rounds are going to drop. And Black Friday every year is that time period, and that brings a lot of supply to the market. Now, also, we usually have a best of team of the week. That's a staple of Black Friday. And where the market sits right now, this is where I feel like there could be a lot of prices that you maybe could be ahead of the curve on and think about selling, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but maybe this weekend, during the weekend league as prices are maybe going up a little bit. Some of your current team of the week cards that are from the higher rated players that you would expect to get in a best of team of the week, right? Maybe like a Sadio Mane, 200,000 coins for him. You think about a guy like an Mbappe in form, 1.8 mil. He was around 1.6, 1. 6.5, I believe, at his absolute lowest points in some of the crazy panic. Yeah, 1667, right? That was really, really low for Mbappe. Right now, he's up over 1.8 mil. Some of these cards, just put it in the back of your mind as we head into this weekend. I still think a best of team of the week is possible because that is a staple of Black Friday. So it might be smart to start to think about selling off a couple of those cards as we get nearer to that time frame, especially if you have any cards in your team from team of the week one, these cards are some of the most overvalued cards in the game. In my opinion, Kevin De Bruyne, his gold card is 50K, 62K because he's fodder and fodder is going up, right? 62K for gold De Bruyne, a plus one, 92 informed De Bruyne is 680K. This is one of the most overpriced cards in the game, in my opinion, based off of the small upgrade and how much his gold card costs. He really hasn't dropped off that much either. That's a card that it would probably get into a best of team of the week that I would be very, very careful with. Same thing with like Hyunmin Sun, even some cards from like team of the week two. Earlier on in the game, a Marquinhos that I still think is very overvalued at 300,000 coins with the other great center backs that are in this game. That's a card that I would absolutely sell. Maybe even the Inform Salah. Stuff like that that you would expect to get into a best of team of the week. That's the stuff that I would be careful with. Now, Imagine the Flash SBCs. Imagine the content that we could have. It's like a World Cup and Black Friday matchup on FIFA. The content could be absolutely incredible. And again, I really hope that they do some of the engagement reward stuff. I know right now we have some of the, the World Cup, like the end of the event awards, right? Uh, tracking how many of these World Cup player items that we can pack. So that's almost like some engagement type reward, sort of, but not really. Um, so maybe they'll do something along those lines. But... Again, I do think that Black Friday is going to impact the market a lot this year, but I feel like a lot of the meta market and the high tier market, like your gold cards, when we talk about Mbappe and Ronaldo and in this, types of, this type of stuff, gold cards that are not fodder, the number of those is rapidly decreasing on this game. Um, I do think that you will see a bit of a sell-off, but I don't think it's going to happen until after this weekend league because, again, nobody right now is talking about Black Friday, and that's why I wanted to begin the conversation today so that we are ahead of the curve, not to cause panic selling whatsoever because I feel like the market right now is in a pretty stable spot, and the prices have been going up a bit, right? You look back to, like, Sunday, Mbappe was a million coins on this game, and now he's risen back up. A little bit now some cards have gone down even further we talked about ronaldo of course with the ribery sbc that was dropped yesterday this neymar card has gone down even more neymar was like 315 now he's under 300,000 coins because of a new left wing being dropped that is very hype so you know i would just be pretty careful if you are using any high tier meta gold cards that are not yet fodder and to be honest I'd be a little careful with some of these cards that are even the World Cup heroes. Just be careful where they go. Of course, the heroes that are in packs right now, Al Waryan, Park Ji Sung, Yunberg, Boller, Kite, these guys are going out of packs. Again, according to the EA website, the way that these heroes and icons are going to work is they're going to be replacing their base versions while in packs, but then after they're out of packs, the base versions come back in. So a lot of people are looking to invest in these Path to Glory cards because they're live and these hero cards because they're, of course, pretty rare. And I understand the logic behind it. But if we have some widespread panic start to begin next week, maybe at the end of the weekend, because of Black Friday, 
you know, you might see some price movements there. So just be a little bit careful. And I'm not trying to tell you guys that the market is going to crash a ton at this weekend, at the end of this weekend, because really what we need for a market crash to happen is we need EA to start dropping some information and tell us that they're going to actually do some content and put out some content for Black Friday this year inside of the World Cup. We need some info from EA because, again, like I said, we're in the middle of a World Cup promo with Path of Glory and all this stuff, and EA have not mentioned anything about Black Friday yet. Last year, we had one of those like warm-up series promos but the week before Black Friday, right? And they even told us, like, hey, do these packs. Black Friday is coming, that sort of thing. And we don't have much of that yet. So just be posted for EA, maybe adding some packs into the code. That sort of thing could start to cause some panic as well. Maybe some people talking and leaking foot sheriff, maybe leaking like best of team of the week, that sort of stuff. So I wanted to get this video out ahead of time just to say, I feel like the informs on the market and maybe some of your older out of pack um, special cards even uh, from the earlier promos that have been in this year. I mean, let's be honest guys. Promo cards just do not rise out of packs like they used to and hold their value for a long uh, term period of time. Unless they are live cards, uh, they don't really stay high for more than a week out of packs. I mean, these out of position cards were a great example. If you look back at rule breakers, how many of these guys are even near the price that they were uh, when they went out of packs? Maybe like Ramos and Tiago, and those are still down from where they were, right? So it's just... These types of cards are probably going to drop off because the more promos that we get, we've seen it this year especially, cards are not holding their value, even the ones that are out of packs, because we get more and more cards in the game all the time, and that just continues to drop prices. So again, last year for Black Friday, we had the Signature Signings promo, which it was really crazy. You guys might remember, these guys were dropped into packs really early. It was like... 10 a.m. my time on a Friday and then usual contents at 1 p.m. So they were in packs for like, you know, three hours before the content dropped. They went really, really low. Everybody was expecting supply and then they shot back up as people went out and bought the cards. And then like all of these cards, remember the, the signature signs were acquired in SBCs. These guys went to like 100K because there were so many SBCs that kept requiring them. And we had that flashback Benzema SBC as a part of Black Friday last year too. So Black Friday always brings top tier content. And I think it needs to be something that we're thinking about, but it might not start to impact the market until next week, early next week, maybe mid next week. Uh, but, and, and maybe even at the start of the end of this weekend, maybe like a Saturday or a Sunday type time frame. It's just something that we have to keep in mind and be a little bit, um, you know, proactive and thinking about because it's coming pretty soon. So hopefully we get some information on EA and get some news about what could it could look like or maybe even some leaks beforehand. But I wanted to spend some time talking about that today. And really, again, not to try to say that, hey, guys, you need to sell because I'm not trying to convey that message at all. The market right now is really, really healthy. I mean, you saw so many prices actually bounce back on the high tier meta. I actually flipped Four Koulibaly's yesterday. The market, I bought these guys high, right? I bought Koulibaly on uh, Monday night for 350, right? And I sold them at 380. I was like, oh, boom, that was a great flip. I bought Koulibaly's yesterday at 365. Uh, 365 and 367. I bought four of them and I just sold them all at 397,000 coins, right? It's small profits, it's small flips, but when the market is making the moves like it is right now, you know, cards are not going up that much except for a select few. You know, think about some of these World Cup heroes. The market is very strong on these cards because they are rare and they are popular. Alawarian, 600K right now at the moment after he was uh, 500,000 coins on Sunday, these cards just continue to stay rare and to go up because this is what people want to try right now in this game. And people have a decent amount of coins. And the content, like we've said, hasn't been that crazy. Yeah, we had an icon pack. Yes, yesterday we had the Ribery SBC. Um, but, you know, that is not that crazy of coin drain content. And, you know, it's the brand new and the fresh cards that get people the most hyped. And those are the ones that are going up. And it makes sense, right? Because that's where the hype is. So I would just continue to be a little bit careful in this market. I'm not expecting, like we we knew that the market crashed a lot, right? I'm not expecting Gold Ronaldo to go back up to like 300K where he was during this crash when it dropped down so much. Could I see Ronaldo's price rebounding back up a little bit still more? Yeah, you know, he could bounce back up to maybe somewhere around 250 if the content continues to be lackluster and if EA don't drop a bunch of supply on this game. But Gold cards at the moment are just kind of in the bin because everybody has these World Cup versions of them uh, that are 
uh, untradeable on their teams that they might be using as well. You know, people are packing the the World Cup item of, of Ronaldo. Of I packed a Neymar, right? You know, Van Dyke. All these guys that are in the World Cup have those versions available. That's really hurting the gold cards right now on this market. So just be careful. Start to think about that sort of stuff and plan your team. Again, I like to run as untradeable of a team as possible when I, we're going into these big kind of events and into these big weekends where there's a lot of hype. Part of the black, the reason the market crashes every year for Black Friday as well is that people just get excited for it, right? And it's just kind of known as a thing or like a phenomenon where the market crashes every year for Black Friday, so you better sell. And that just causes the market to go, market to go down further and further. So that's part of it as well. Just kind of realize that there, it's a lot of panic-driven selling uh, just because of the idea of Black Friday. But again, this year's different, so we're going to have to see how it goes. Um, and it's time for me to stop talking about Black Friday because we've talked about that enough. And we'll get into it more as it get, gets closer. But let's talk about, again, what is going on with the content yesterday and looking into today on Wednesday. Yesterday, we had the leak for Franck Ribéry and it dropped. There was not a very, we didn't have much time to think about this because Franck Ribéry was leaked and then like two hours later it was dropped. Five star, five star, of course, a very deserved end of an era Ribéry card. Left wing position change from his base card and from his rule breakers. Now, this card I think is a W. For me, it's a W. I understand. It's it's almost on the same level as the Robbie Keane SBC, right? Robbie Keane, elite level card, very expensive. That's the biggest, you know, negative to his card, right? Very, very expensive. The biggest negative for the Ribery card is it's the same rating, and some stats are not even as good as his Rule Breakers card, which is on the market for 550 or 530,000 coins, whatever it is. But this Ribery, I think the upgrade on this card makes him so much more usable because he got the work rate change, high medium. He's got the five star, five star, of course. That's nothing new. But they boosted his agility big time. They boosted those work rates. Like I said, this card for me looks like an absolutely incredible center attacking mid. I am going to do this SBC. Uh, I usually don't do SBCs like this. But this one for me, with the packs that you get back, and just this type of player is one that I feel 100% comfortable with committing to at this stage of the game. Now, I know that there's you know other SBCs that could drop. Um, there's another leak that we're going to look at here in, in a little bit. You know, I could commit to doing the Robbie Keane, but again, this SBC with how fodder is looking right now is like 920,000 coins, which makes me like this one even more since personally, I already have Rudy Folaire in the team as a great striker that I can use and Papan. So that's why I'm going to lean towards doing this Frank Ribery. I'm actually going to get him done and do this SBC. Uh, but I understand if you don't want to, and I understand if you want to craft it as well. It is pretty craftable, except for the some of the higher tier squads that are in there. Since those higher tier squads are in there once again, guess what rating of fodder is going up the most? Yeah, you guessed it. It's the high rated stuff. 88s are 26k, 80, 89s are 38k a piece. 91s are 60k. Remember when these were 40? Yes, 40,000 coins on like Friday night. I hope you got on some bids and I hope you guys bought some fodder because it is a massive payday on this high tier fodder. Even the low tier fodder is moving up a little bit, right? 84s with that 81 plus team of the week upgrade that we had dropped yesterday. They upped the rating. They kept the requirements the same. W from EA there. Um, again, it is a bit of a gamble, of course, as always, but the 81 plus is nice to not have the 80 plus anymore. That extra rating maybe helps out a little bit. I did one, got a Modestin for him. I said, I'm done. But 84s are up a little bit for that. If you guys have fodder left, I would say list it up for lazies and sell it. 85s and 86, like those, those two ratings were just kind of the ones that are kind of just skipped over and left out. Like, yes, you probably did make a little bit of profit. 86s were like 12K. You know, now they did end up going up to about 15. Now they're 14. 85s were like eight and a half at their peak. Now they're back down into the, the high sevens. Uh, I would continue to list this stuff and probably get it out before we head towards the weekend where we would probably get more supply. Unless EA have a surprise like hero pack planned for us, which there were leaks for a hero pack yesterday. I don't know what fraud leaker was talking about that, but it didn't happen, of course. Um, and there was a couple of leaks that were wrong yesterday, but they didn't get publicized that well. And I'm glad they didn't because they didn't end up happening. So that was nice. Um, or not really nice, but that was a situation that happened yesterday. So I think it's a safe sell on fodder once again, up a tiny bit from where we were yesterday. Uh, but a, a Frank Ribery SBC was absolutely not expected yesterday uh, at all. So today content 
on on Wednesday. What what's going to move the market today? What's going to change things on the market today? Really, Wednesdays have been pretty average days. Of course, we will get a brand new team of the week, and everybody's looking forward to seeing if Darwin Nunez gets into the team of the week this week. Currently, his once to watch card is around 180,000 coins. It's down just a little bit, and I think the reason why it's down this much is because he didn't get into a couple team of the week predictions. But if you see leaks, and right now we do not have any leaks, but I'm sure that that is going to change today into Wednesday, watch out for this card. The safe bet is to always sell on the hype. I mean, look at this. Five different owners on this wants to watch Darwin Nunez. No games played. I just think about how many people probably still have this card that really have not used it and invested in it when he was in packs at like 60K or 70,000 coins. And they're like, okay, I'm going to get ready to sell this card. I know there's World Cup upgrades that are on the line with this Darwin Nunez as well. If you're a guy winning game, he gets an upgrade there as well. But for today's with the team of the week, you're going to know if this guy's in team of the week or not before it drops because it leaks, right? He's either going to tank because he's not in or he's going to stay at the same price, maybe go up a little bit if he is in. And if he does do that, I would take the opportunity and take your cash there. Um, and then watch for more fluctuation on this card for sure today. But a brand new team of the week would be something we watch out for today. You might be able to trade with those early on uh, in the time with their drop today. So watch out for that. But it should be a pretty quiet Wednesday in general. Wednesdays are usually pretty quiet. We should have a brand new Silver Stars. The end of an era Larson is expiring. So we should have a new one of those today. And then the only other SBC that is on our radar at this moment is uh, this one right here. This was tweeted by Arcade Foot yesterday, but it was retweeted by Foot Sheriff. So that makes us think it's a pretty legit leak. David Silva flashback. EA right now is kind of just dropping a bunch of like flashback and end of an era uh, cards, you know, kind of just celebrating these guys' uh, careers that are towards the end of them maybe. But um, David Silva with the flashback stats are, again, predicted. These are not confirmed stats. He would need to have 80 shooting. But David Silva, of course, uh, you know, I don't know if any of you guys saw there was a spike on one of the Rule Breakers cards. Rule Breakers Marino um, had like a crazy spike in price. Because people, I think, saw that leak and they had information ahead of time. And his card went up like a crap ton. Like, it shows on here that he went to like 18 or 20K. But I think some people even got some crazy wicked sales like 40 or 50K or something like that. So, you know, definitely some leak stuff going on with this David Silva. I'd be a little bit surprised if it was today. Actually, I'd be very surprised if it was today, but maybe on Thursday, maybe this is an SBC we'll see on Friday. But again, I would not have expected to see the Ribery. I, I didn't expect, expect to see Ribery yesterday after he was leaked early in the day. So that's that. I guess there's a potential for that to drop today, but I feel like the potential there would be slim. And other than that, I don't think I'm expecting too much today on a Wednesday unless we have some crazy leaks. But Wednesdays are usually a little bit of a tipping point for the market. So We've enjoyed a market that, is, that has risen the past two days on a lot of cards. I think it would be a decent opportunity, especially for some of these World Cup heroes. On Wednesday nights, of course, heading into Thursdays, you usually see a bit of a drop-off because people are worried about rivals rewards and tradable supply and marquee matchups. So for the World Cup hero cards like this Alawarian, even though they are going out of packs, I think... We might be near a peak price for them right now on the day. Maybe they go down in the next day or two. They could potentially rise back up on the weekend, depending on what content we have. So for the World Cup heroes and for the path to glories, they're all up right now. Griezmann, 533K. Like I said with the cool of Bali, he's right at 400,000 coins. Carvajal Hall is 160. He was like 135 yesterday, right? Bernardo Silva was 530. He's now 590. De Jong was 500. He's now 529. A lot of these cards are rebounding up. They are high. They are up. It is a safe time in the short term to take the cash and look for a potential investment opportunity, maybe on the rewards hour on Thursday, maybe with the marquee matchups on Thursday as well. That's going to be a big time for these cards to look to invest in them. But I think there are some drops ahead, not crazy big drops. I don't think you're going to see like Bernardo Silva at like 400 and you know, 70,000. I don't think he's going to drop that much, but low 500s for that. We're going to be monitoring these cards closely tomorrow and into Thursday for some potential investment opportunities for sure as these guys go out of packs on Friday and as they, you know, start progressing towards their first upgrade on Friday as well with the World Cup games or not Friday, but over the next couple of days with World Cup games starting very very soon. So that's kind of what's going on with the market at the moment today. I don't expect a pretty crazy day, but maybe EA will do something 
to surprise us. But hopefully this video gave you a lot of information that was very helpful, of course, looking ahead to Black Friday. And if you did enjoy the video today, I would appreciate it if you drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and of course, catch a uh, catch out the Twitch stream today. We will be streaming live as we do every day, heading into the content drop to see what surprises EA Sports might have for us. So again, it's been Nate the Photo Count, and I'll catch you on the Twitch stream today. Have a good Wednesday. Peace out.